What's up, seventh graders? Welcome back. This is Mrs. Cervantes and Mrs. Tawadi, and no, together, Mrs. Cervati. Mrs. Cervati. <laughs> so you guys are going to hear both of us sometimes, and other times just one of us. So the point is to get used to both of us and the way we teach and the way we sound and all the things. But for the most part, we are both very fast talking. We teach very similarly. You see, I had to slow that word down because that's a hard word for you. Yeah. All right, so let's get into this. This is 1.1, adding integers with same sign. Your essential question is, I can add integers with same sign. This is important that you have your note taker open and you are filling out anything that we add to the uh, flip chart. So if you notice on your note taker, you have the three key terms, integer, absolute value, and the commutative property of addition, but you do not have the definitions. So we would like you to pause this video and take a second to fill in the definitions. If this is left blank, then you will not get credit on your note taker. First one is integer, and the definition of an integer is the set of whole numbers and their opposites. So a very easy example, if I have a two, the opposite of a two is a negative two. If I have a negative five, the opposite of a negative five is a five. All four are known as integers, positive and negative numbers. The I'm, other way okay. to think of integers too, that I just figured out works for some kids, is if you think of a number line, when you create a number line, you're looking at, you don't really label the halves in between. So you have zero, you have one, two, three, four, two, four, four however zero. you're no. gonna do it. So one, two, three, and then you have negative one, negative two, negative three. When you draw your number line, you not very often do you do the halves. I mean, you will get into that when we start graphing rational numbers. You'll be you'll be in between some when you're graphing integers. This is what you typically see as a number line. These are all integers. So it's your your whole positive and negative numbers is one way a student was saying it last year. I'm like, yeah, that's a good way to say it. It's all the numbers on your number line that are whole negative or positive numbers, if that helps some of you too. Perfect. Absolute value is the distance of a number away from zero on the number line. It's represented by these numbers. So remember, if we have, let's say, a three, the absolute value of a three is three because it is one, two, three spaces away from zero on the number line. If I have a negative three on a number line, it's still the same distance as a positive three, right? So it's one, two, three. So we don't want you guys to get the routine of just identifying that it's a positive number because it's actually representing the number of spaces from zero, left yeah. or right. And be careful, a lot of people say opposite here. That absolute value means opposite. It doesn't mean opposite, look at your answers. So the opposite of positive three here on the left side is not positive three. It looks like it for her absolute value of negative three on the right hand side. Yeah, it looks like you're doing opposite, but do not call absolute value opposite. Like Ms. Tolati said, it's just the number of spaces from zero. And the community property of addition is the property that states that two or more numbers can be added in any order without changing the sum. So if we have two plus three, that answer is five. And if I reverse the order of three plus two is also a five. So make sure again that you have the definitions that are tight as well as the examples that we wrote in. So now we're gonna get into the actual lesson which is very simple. Uh, in 1.1 we go through modeling with chips, modeling with a number line, and then actually using the rules. So if you guys notice, um, I am going to use um, a yellow chip for positive and a red chip for negative. So we're just gonna kind of make a key over here. Oops, not in that big, Bonds, so go back to my pen. This is a positive one and a red is a negative one. So on the model of counters, I'm just going to identify that my three is represented with one. See how I get used to my one, two, three yellow counters. Then I'm going to add four. One, two, three, four. And in all, and I like the Cervantes, we actually did this in the other video. If you don't have colors, you can use Y's for yellow. You can even use positives and negatives, right? But in the end, how many yellow chips do I have? I have seven yellow chips. And then for the red, we're gonna look at, we have one, again, I have to make sure I'm on the big, one, two, three, four, five. I have a three there, one, two, three. I can also use this to represent, you guys would think at this point in the game I'd be done with that. Red, 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 
reds. And we are going to use chips throughout the entire integer unit, so be familiar with these. How many reds do I have in all? My answer is a negative 8. Okay, let's look at the next one. Negative 2 plus negative 5. Now you're modeling with a number line. So a little bit different than the chips, just a different strategy to use. So if it's easier for you to visualize the number line, that's fine too, but try to be familiar with both. So if we're looking at negative two plus negative five, different ways you can do this. You can plot, I'm starting at negative two, I'm adding negative five more. If I'm adding negative five more, that means I'm going in a negative direction. So I'm adding negative 1, negative 2, negative 3, negative 4, negative 5 spaces. So that puts me at negative 7. Another way people show this is some people say, oh, I'm starting at negative 2, and if I go negative 5, where do I end up? Okay. So in each of these, you're ending up at negative 7. So negative 2 adding negative 5 more means you continue going less on that number line, which gets you to negative 7. So just two different ways to see it. Okay, so next page, adding integers with a common sign. To add integers with the same sign, add the absolute values of the integers and use the sign of the integers for the sum. So add the absolute values of the integers and then use the sign of the integers. And remember again, absolute value is not negative or positive. All you're talking about is the distance from zero on a number line or how many spaces away from zero. So if I want to do this using absolute value, I could say add the absolute value. So add the absolute value of 4. Remember the absolute value symbols are these two lines on the side of the number. And the absolute value of 9. What is the absolute value of 4? Well, how many spaces is 4 from 0? It's 4 spaces plus absolute value of 9. How many spaces from 0 is 9? Add 9 spaces. So add those together. And what do you get? 13. So absolute value of 4 plus the absolute value of 9. So 4 plus 9 is 13. Now, logically you guys aren't going to use absolute value to do that. Um, but that is how you really technically would add those together. You guys just have been taught since elementary to use when it's positive. You just say 4 plus 9. Same thing applies if you look at two negative numbers. So if I have the absolute value of negative 7, plus the absolute value of negative 6. How far is negative 7 from 0 on the, on the number line? It's 7 spaces. How far is negative 6 from 0 on the number line? It is 6 spaces. You add the two together, 7 plus 6 is 13. And because both of my numbers in the original problem were negative, I carry the negative sign down to the answer. So my final answer is a negative 13. So how do you add integers with the same sign? You add their absolute values and take the sign of the integers and you can write that in your own words in fact we'd appreciate if you did write that rule in your own words so that it made sense to you all right you guys it's your turn to try so the additional practice it looks like a lot but if you think about you're pretty much i mean really adding numbers and then deciding what the sign is right yep add so, and keep the sign if you want to shortcut the rule there you go add and keep sign you, when they're the same sign you add and keep the sign so you guys have two problems that go with the model and the counters. You have four problems that model with the number line. Please utilize those resources because you will be assessed on being familiar with them. Okay? We're not going to ask you to use them all the time, especially when you get to problems like this. We're not going to ask you to do, uh, I don't know, 175 red counters. Um, but we do want those to be in your um, memory bank, if you will. In order to get credit on your note taker, everything must be completed in full, and then we will practice this in class tomorrow. Have a great day. Bye. Bye.